people are already saying that Terrence Bud Crawford could end up being one of the all-time greats. I want to compare him to one of the possible greatest fighters in history, Sugar Ray Leonard. They both fought at welterweight, so if they were in the same eras, they definitely could have fought each other. So I want to see how the two of them would have matched up. All right, here we go. Sugar Ray Leonard on the left, wearing the red headgear. Unknown opponent on the right, wearing Franklin tank top, which is weird because that was Sugar Ray's uh, company that he was promoting, spokesperson for. All right, that was a short end of the round. Now they begin again, there's Sugar Ray again on the left. Moving, ooh, nice. Sugar Ray had such a snappy short hook. Beautiful leverage. Now look at Sugar Ray Leonard. Keeps a wide stance, quick on his feet, but doesn't really bounce around. Uh, keeps his feet planted, which I think enables him to throw those hard punches always and have leverage. Because he doesn't have to set himself. He's always set, even while he's moving. That's the most impressive thing about him is his footwork in terms of the balance and the leverage. He's over, like right there, beautiful. So we stop right there through two beautiful left hooks, but he is moving the whole time. There he fakes his opponent out. Now he holds. Now he's letting his opponent throw punches. He has his hands down. Ooh, opponent lands a jab. Sugar Ray shakes his head. Ooh, now Sugar, you hear that noise? Sugar Ray made a wah, like a Bruce Lee noise. Interesting. The sugar's keeping good distance here. Really good distance. Oh, he's going, ooh, he's making Bruce Lee noises. Oh, another Bruce Lee noise. He tries to throw a pull counter, which just misses. Hands down, beautiful left hook, beautiful left. People talk about Spoken Joe Frazier, David Tua's left hook, but Sugar Ray Leonard's left hook was silly. Just like clown suit on, just silly with it. All right, so Ray's moving around. Nice jab as he's moving. Nice jab. So now he's bouncing a little right there. Now he's kind of doing his Muhammad Ali slash Larry Holmes impression. Just flipping that that jab out. Ooh, nice right hand by Sugar Ray. Just misses. So his opponent's stalking. So that's a, I don't know what fight Sugar's preparing for here, but if it's Hagler, that's a great preparation for him. Ooh, nice, nice overhand right, and then Sugar Ray moves right out the way. Beautiful one, two. Sugar Ray Leonard was like, it was art. Whoa, nice head movement, hands down, just toying with him. It was like art watching him fight. Nice jab landed. It was just a beauty to it. It's like watching, ooh, beautiful jab slash left hook. He threw it straight, but then turned over at the very end. Perfect example of point A to point B, and then turning over that shoulder. Uh, Sugar Ray, it's, it's like watching, a, it's like almost like ballet. Ooh, he just did the Bruce Lee noise, jumped in, hands down. He's really playing with his opponent, getting in his head probably. Ooh, there, beautiful double left hook. That was a little Roy Jones kind of style. And then making these Bruce Lee noises, which is weird. But Sugar Ray, you have to understand at this time, ooh, ooh, vicious left hook. See the leverage and the speed? I mean, perfect punch. Uh, Sugar Ray at this point was, you know, huge. He was superstar, the, ooh, beautiful, like the Muhammad Ali of boxing at the time. Ooh, now he's playing with him, saying, come at me. Really getting in his opponent's head. It's funny, because Ray was a very quiet, soft-spoken dude outside the ring non-confrontational, but in the ring, flamboyant, boisterous, very confrontational. Had a mean streak in him too. All right, now he holds. Oof, beautiful left, left hooks to the body. I didn't realize Roy Jones got that from, from Ray. There's a jab and up top. Ray's moving, look at that movement. Look at that foot movement. He's circling his opponent, he's playing with him. Oh, wow. Wow, vicious, vicious right hands by Sugar Ray. Man, pound for pound, who hits harder and faster than him? Maybe just Roy Jones. That's it. Ooh, nice uppercut and overhand right by his opponent. There's Ray, hands down. Just total disrespect. But it's a mind game. He respects his opponents. He's just playing with them, getting in there and hitting their heads. Beautiful right hand. All right, that ends the sparring. All right, here we go. There's Terrence Crawford in the green camo. And Carlos Adamas, I'm pretty sure, in the, in the blue shirt, he was sparring. Ooh, nice hook by Carlos. Now Ray put, drops his hands on some Sugar Ray Leonard type stuff right there. Interesting. Ooh, Carlos shoulder bumps him. Ooh, st 
the wrong straight right hand on Bud. Now Bud spins him. Now Bud gets him in the corner. They're exchanging. Oh, Bud hits him with a hard, short left hook that wobbles. Oh, another straight right that wobbles him. So Bud is standing conventional right now. Yeah, this is at Gleason's gym in my hometown. Ooh, nice hook by Bud. So now Bud has the earmuffs. He's coming forward, putting pressure on Carlos. Ooh, beautiful left, short left hook. The misses, though. Nice body shot by Carlos. Nice straight right. Nice uppercut. But Bud is staying in the pocket. Hits him with a hard jab. Now Bud is back to southpaw. Nice uppercut by Carlos. They're shoulder to shoulder in close quarters. Nice left hook. Beautiful overhand right. Bud is just right there, though. He's inviting this exchange. Nice body shots. Ooh, nice left hook. That's what Ray was doing. Double left hooks. Ooh, nice movement. Waist movement by Bud. So now Bud's against the ropes, and he's inviting the exchange. Ooh, nice straight right by Carlos and an uppercut. Bud's just earmuffing it, not moving his head. Almost inviting it. Now he starts moving his waist a little. Nice left hook. Right. Bud is standing it's conventional. Nice straight right by Bud. So Bud is just pressuring him, hands up, inviting this brawl. Oh, Saddam is starting to feel himself here. Ooh, nice shot. Nice pressure by Carlos Adamas. Nice counter left by Bud. Now Bud is back to a southpaw. Ooh, nice hook by Bud. Ooh, nice. There you go. There's that movement. Very similar to what Ray was doing. Nice waist movement and leg movement, spinning and giving angles. Now his hands are low. Now he's on his he's on his Ray Landon type stuff. Right, next round. Nice body work. Nice hook by Bud. Now Bud's pressuring Carlos. Now Bud's starting to move his waist more, doing a little bit less of the, the earmuff guard. Nice hook. You hear all these, oh, nice. Oh, nice hook and uppercut by Bud. Real, real shoulder snap doing those punches. Beautiful. Nice straight right by Adamus. Now he's going to the body, but Bud is stalking him, jabbing. Nice hook, nice uppercut. So now Bud is coming forward with very effective pressure. Smart, effective pressure. He's not just here muffing and taking shots at this point. Carlos Adamas seems a little worn out. There's Bud's just kind of tapping. Bud's kind of feeling around, maybe setting some traps here. Ooh, nice right hand by Bud. Now Bud gets clipped too, body shot. Straight punches by Bud. They're kind of exchanging pretty evenly here. So now Bud's pressuring him. Ooh, nice body shot. Then moves out the way and wobbles Carlos again with a hard left hand. Now Bud sees boxing here. He's moving. Waist movement, throwing punches, not just earmuffing it and brawling. So he's kind of doing that right now, though. But when he moves effectively, ooh, nice uppercut by Adonis. Ooh, but Bud sees. Look at that waist movement. Bud lose that uppercut and counters. Ooh, Bud gets nailed there. He sticks his tongue out. See? That's the mind games Bud plays. Simple smile or tongue out to let his opponent know. Even when you land, it doesn't bother me. Ooh, another hard shot by Bud, but then Adamus comes right back at him. Ooh, see, there's the waist movement with Bud. Waist movement comes back with an uppercut. Nice body shot. Nice uppercut by Bud. See, he's moving his waist. When he moves his waist and moves, it's hard, hard to touch him. But when he does a ear bud just like that. Oh, but nice combo back and forth. Nice straight right by Adamus. Bud circling. Ooh, Adamus steps back and tries to counter, but moves. And Bud starts attacking him. And that is the sparring. Sugar Ray Leonard was the sweet science defined. This guy had everything you could think of in a fighter. He had some of the fastest hands in history. He had serious power, snappy punches. Technically, he his fundamentals were flawless. He made no mistakes. He was able to move. His psychological warfare in the ring was, was top notch. And outside the ring, he had the, a great personality. People loved him. He was the original golden boy being a gold medalist in the Olympics. Now you see that Sugar Ray had very few weaknesses. One of the few things that possibly could have gotten Sugar Ray Leonard was a hard, aggressive puncher. 
because Sugar Ray Leonard would a lot of times get on his back foot and move and box. So boxers are sometimes susceptible to hard punchers who are aggressive, but they have to have serious power. Terrence Bud Crawford is a complete fighter. We see this here. Terrence has everything it takes. Terrence has flawless fundamentals. He has power. He has good speed. He has one of the strongest wills and mean streaks in boxing history. He has st unbelievable strength for his size. Phys not just punching power, but physical strength. Terrence Bud Crawford is de defensively very, very sharp. He doesn't get enough credit for being defensively sharp. The one area where Bud doesn't excel, super excel in, is his punching speed. He's not known for having super fast hands, but his accuracy and his timing and his ability to set traps and set up and create his own openings, that kind of counter is not having the actual speed. And it sometimes makes it look like he is fast because those punches are landing so accurately um, that it's hitting the target so easily that it, it gives the, the impression that his hands are really fast. Don't get me wrong, Bud does have good speed, but it's not next level like Sugar Ray Leonard's was. So I guess when you look at these guys and, and you picture them fighting each other, it's really hard to tell. I mean, it'd be hard for me to go against Sugar Ray Leonard because Sugar Ray Leonard is proven over, over his entire career. Bud is, is still fighting. Although he's at the end of his career, there's still more to show. But I don't really know what would get the better of this matchup. Would it be Sugar Ray Leonard's beautiful movement, textbook boxing style with his speed and his defense and his head movement? Or would it be Bud's workhorse kind of style of coming forward, applying that effective, smart pressure and, and imposing his will and accuracy and setting traps and catching Sugar Ray in the few mistakes that Sugar Ray makes. It's hard to tell who would win. Who do you guys think would have won if Sugar Ray Leonard fought Terrence Bud Crawford in their primes at 147 pounds? Tell me in the comments.